Criminal Insider This is the Lost News Report, it is no secret WHO controls the streets of Los Angeles, though they are black gangs and there is also Asian gangs, however none can compare to the power that the Mexican Mafia has, IT rules Southern California with a force. With most members controlling an entire city or region, with hundreds of gang members at their disposal, through the years there has been a lot of internal conflict among made Mexican Mafia members, some Mafia members have been marked for death, and taken out by other Mafia members, or their soldiers, a war broke out between Mexican Mafia members, Cisco of LA Puente Perico from Norwalk, and longtime mob member Jaco Padilla from Azusa 13 WHO had control of that area at the time. Mob members would be released from federal custody and immediately began to flood the streets, though the two mobsters would make a life-altering mistake and that would be approaching on the longtime Mexican Mafia members' territory, Jaco Padilla, that's all IT took for Jaco and he would greenlight these two mob members. His wife Lola would be one of the ones to press this issue. Mexican Mafia member Perico would go on to be shot several times by orders given from Jaco Padilla. Perico somehow managed to survive this attack. Roca a longtime member was indicted along with other members Benjamin Topo Peters Ruben Night Owl Castro Raymond Wero Shy Rock for ordering the stabbing of a rival gang member, racketeering, so this was a big power move, this would be one of the power struggles that would go on between federal Mexican Mafia and the state Mafia. The ones from the state tend to hold more influence and hold more power, LA Puente leader Cisco, had a brother named Blanco WHO controlled dealings and the mobsters turf in absence of his brother. Both Cisco and his brother Blanco would receive a life sentence in federal prison. It is documented that Cisco gave orders to a gang member to whack somebody in downtown Los Angeles federal custody, the man was stabbed 22 times, it was a scare tactic to prevent people in testifying adjacent the Mexican Mafia members. LA Puente leader had a man by the name of Listo, who was one of his main enforcers on the street. He was released from Pelican Bay and quickly became his right hand carrying out acts of violence for him and taxing drug dealers for Cisco. Listo vowed also get charged with a slew of crimes and was sentenced to 27 years in federal prison. Cisco currently sits behind bars, Black No is also serving life, his wife would also be sent away as well as other members of her crew.